First soundbite here was yesterday morning on ESPN's morning show. Uh, Odell and Lil Wayne, for some reason, sat down with Josina Anderson, and uh, she asked him how he's uh, feeling with the Giants currently. I just want to be able to be the very best that I can, and I don't feel like I'm given an opportunity to be the very best that I can to bring that every single day. What is holding you back? I just haven't been in the situation. I haven't been in the place where I feel like I can really go out and do everything that I'm capable of doing. It, I don't get 20 targets like some other receivers. So know. is it the offense? Is it the scheme? When you talk about you're not put in a Everything situation? at the moment. It's just everything. It's just everything. And, and not to say that it's not going to work, but at the moment, uh, I feel like I work entirely way too hard. Yikes. Yikes! Yikes! Odell balled out yesterday, though he had a pretty good. He did, pretty, and pretty and, Sh- and Shermer dialed up a pass for him to throw to Barkley, you know, and he said, uh, "Why is Lil Wayne?" Uh, uh, I got the Carter five. Thought it was okay. Thought it was pretty good. Two or three good heaters on there last week. I understand the relevance thing, mm-hmm. but man, I just he just got paid too, right? Odell just got paid. He did, and he just basically saw it down the quarterback, the coach. The whole team, right? And then, and the city as well, saying that he really liked what you've been liking out here in Los Angeles. Well, I can't blame him for that. All right, well, here we go. The then Odell, Odell I mean, talked after the game. Okay, let's hear And it. here's what he said. I don't regret anything that I said. If it, if it took that for us to come together as a team like we did today, I, I could take that every single time. It had been on my heart. Um, and I think all the stuff that was built up inside, it just kind of – it came out in the wrong way, um, and I texted him and I asked if I can have a minute just to talk to the team um, because I feel like we don't, we don't, if we're not all on the same page, if it's not authentic and real, and we can all understand each other, then there's going to always be miscommunication. So now the uh, texting him is Pat Shermer, who he texted, and Shermer said that he did address the team and he wasn't talking about what was going on in the team. He said that the locker room handled it. Is what the coach said. What someone who's been in a locker room, Pat McAfee? What do you think that means? Well, first of all, he said he didn't regret it, and then he had to give a team speech. So that means you do regret it, right? That's mm-hmm. the first thing. Odell Beckham is a unique talent that is just electric factory when he's on there. But whenever you talk bad about your teammate, it's awkward. Like I accidentally posted a picture of Andrew Luck almost naked in the background, and I was like embarrassed to walk into the locker room for the next week. Is that your like your family, your brotherhood? That's everything like that. And hopefully, he said they came together around that. We'll see. But that is a bad look. It's bad because I, I don't like awkward situations to begin with. Okay, mm-hmm. I don't like awkward situations. Mm-hmm. I don't enjoy it. Guy got me Starbucks earlier. Didn't put enough Splenda in it. Didn't even want to tell him about it. I'll just drink this bitter drink right here and keep it moving. Don't want to have the awkward situation. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving. Splenda. But okay. when you saw down your entire team, that's an awkward situation. It can't be good. I mean, obviously, everybody knows Eli ain't got what Eli used to have. But whenever you just got paid, they're looking for you to be a leader in there. And when you just saw it, I just don't enjoy it. I didn't like well, it. He did He did position himself as a leader saying that if, if that's the reason why a team comes together. Good spin zone. That's what he basically said. Good spin right? zone. Yeah, not a bad spin zone. So what do you mean by – so, again, just what do you think happens in a locker room? Who who would walk just – just again, you're not in there. Yeah, I have no but idea. But if, if something like that had happened in the Colts locker room, who would have walked up to that receiver and said something? Who so do you it takes think? the vets, right? So it takes the vets. But when it's one of the vets doing it, it's kind of difficult, right? Because Odell is now a made man for the Giants. He's a rich guy there. He's a veteran there. So whenever you have one of the veterans kind of doing that, it doesn't really lead the way for the younger guys. So it would have to be a veteran. It would have to be like an Eli Manning who would have to come up to him. Hey, I heard what you said about us or about the team. We can't do that publicly. That's in-house. You know, at least until after the season's over. Because now winning football games in the NFL is hard enough. Dealing with drama with your highest paid player, who is a little bit dramatic if you think about the dramatics of Odell Beckham to begin with, but they just got him rich. They just did everything like that. Now you got to deal with a little bit of heightened Real Housewives type situation happening in there. I just think it was a dumb, dumb move. It got a lot of clicks for ESPN, I assume, but it's also going to, there's going to be some feelings hurt in the locker room, I'd assume, which isn't good. Never good. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.